Hey everybody, it's Josie here. I am back with another kind of reading diary just to update you on what I've been reading, what I've thought of the book so far and what I've still got left to read. So this month I'm taking part in Fall Into Fantasy Readathon and I'm also doing um, the non-fiction November as well. But this week I've kind of been concentrating on the Fall Into Fantasy. I think the last update I did, I had just finished Saw Kill Girls, which I loved, and I was reading both The Brilliant Death and The Raven Boys. And I was really liking both of those, very early days. I've now actually finished both of those. I just finished The Raven Boys, actually, and The Brilliant Death yesterday. And I have to say, I am kicking myself for not reading The Raven Cycle early. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I was thinking I wasn't going to enjoy it, but actually, I really, really love that book. So um, I'm definitely going to be getting the next book in the series because I do want to know how it continues. And yeah, I just, I, I think the reason I didn't want to read it or wasn't that keen on reading it was because it, it sort of it's tagged as when it says you know if you kiss your true love and um, they'll die I thought the whole premise and that whole book was going to be a bit of a sort of the romancy love story kind of thing and I suppose it's never judge a book by its cover right because when I then got into it I was like, well, hang on, there isn't actually that much sort of romancy, lovey story in it. Um, it's actually about, I would say it's about, I mean, it's about friendship, right? And it, and it has one of my favorite, favorite tropes in like films and literature, which is that kind of misfit family, um, sort of found friendship group that become this incredibly close, wonderful family tropes. And it's something like, so a hotel, American Horror Story, for example, has that in it. And I, and I love that. I love that trope. And I love anything that's really about friendship, real friendship, and that kind of love as well. So even though there is that kind of bit of romance, and obviously I won't give the story away, but sort of, but I guess a tiny bit of a triangle going on. Um, when I tabbed the book up, and I don't have it with me right now, but when I tabbed it up and I had a look at the colors of the tabs, pink, which is kind of usually is used for, for sort of love or relationships, um, there really isn't a lot on there. So I, I, yeah, I really, really like that book. And then The Brilliant Death, oh God. Um, yes, I was anticipating that one and I really like that as well. So I'm going to do a full review on The Brilliant Death because A, it's a new release and B, I just, I want to really kind of download all my feelings for that book, but suffice it to say, I enjoyed it. Um, I loved all the kind of queer and asexual, no, not asexual, it was it was queer rep, queer bi rep um, in that one. Um, and then Saw Kill Girls as well, as well, that one had asexual and queer rep as well. So yeah, those two, I'm gonna do some in-depth, full reviews for those two, because I'm kind of really enthusiastic about them. And then the last book I'm actually, well, and there's technically two on my list, so there's The Water Cure, and then there's also Bloody Rose, but we'll see how far I get. I've just started The Water Cure, which again, I'm, I'm liking, it's different, it's completely different from the other two, um, but I haven't quite uh, decided whether I'm going to get to Bloody Rose, because it's quite a long book, and I don't know time-wise, but alongside Fall Into Fantasy, I'm also kind of reading my, my TBR list for the month, and on it was, oh, that one over there. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Um, so that one I've been dying to read as well. Uh, I, I actually just recently got it because I was really struggling to get it from my bookstore, but I got it finally and I started it. I'm kind of, I'm halfway through. And this book, I was really apprehensive because I was like, this has been hyped, right? This has been hyped. Everybody loves it. Everybody's saying how amazing it is. And usually when things are hyped up like that, you, uh, I'm, I'm apprehensive, but I have to say, halfway through, it's good. I think it's living up to the hype, in, in a way. I think, no, I always think nothing can live up to too much hype. I think you're always going to be disappointed, but I'm enjoying the story. I'm kind of liking that old Hollywood glamour element of it. Again, I love the, the queer rep that's going on in this. Um, I'm having a good time reading it. It's actually a really quick read. I'm enjoying it, it's fun, so I'm getting on well with this as well. So all in all, I'm having a really spectacular reading week. Uh, it's been a really good reading month, but I think this particular week is is just is just been fantastic. So yeah, um, I will continue reading this one, uh, let you know my full thoughts in my wrap up. 
but I'm loving this and the other two brilliant the Raven Cycle I will bow down to everybody that was hyping it up because it is a great book um, so yeah so I can't wait to read the rest of that series and I can't wait to do my reviews my in-depth reviews and I'll post those as soon as I can so yeah so I hope you have a great weekend um, enjoy reading and yes I will speak to you soon bye